What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So this is actually not the original intro to this video because I never shot the intro to this video. So I just want to give a quick quick intro to what I was doing uh, in this video and that was just simply changing the brake pads and uh, rotors on my Dodge Ram Daytona. So I didn't want the video to start out where I'm just wrenching on the truck. So this is the intro to the video. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. All right, so we got the caliper pulled off, taken apart, and I wanted to show you guys all the hardware that comes with it, because it's pretty neat. It actually comes with the new rubber boots that go right in here, as you can see that. So you just replace that, throw a little grease around it, and that'll pop right in there. It's got these new, um, I don't know exactly, I don't know the proper word for them, but the little guides that the caliper uh, locks into, like so. The new pads, like look at these pads compared to my old pads. You can see how long overdue I was. It's pretty epic. And one thing I like about the new pads too is they have the little squealers on them to let you know that your pads are low. These did not have them. So definitely way too low. Got the new pads. Here's the old rotor just to show it to you guys, just to compare them. You saw they're the same. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is that the slots uh, do go in a direction. So these are going in the right direction. So this points to the back of the truck. This would be the wrong one pointing to the front of the truck. So this obviously goes on the other side, on the driver's side. This goes on the passenger side. So right now what I'm about to do is put these into the new main caliper, then replace these metal slides right here, put the pads in, and then put it all back together and we'll be done. It's that simple. All right, real quick. So to change out these rubber pieces right here, all you gotta do is push this piston straight out. It comes out and then you just twist the rubber piece, pull it out, and then you grab your new one. This is the old one. But you grab the new one and then you just sort of squeeze the end of it kind of fold it like a little taco, squeeze it through the hole, grab the other end, and just keep twisting it, and it'll straighten itself out. And as you can see, you can tell where the center is. And the ends are pretty much the same. There's really nothing too crazy there. It'll seat, you see right there. Oh crap. So the ends are pretty much the same, and it'll seat itself, as you can see just like that so uh, nothing too crazy nothing too complicated just a break job really so I'll show you here on switch hands here you just push it out just like that here's the piston you got this I'll have this caliper safely secured so you just grab it and twist it and that's the best way once you break loose from twisting it i had to use two hands you can pull it you can pull it straight out and that's all there is to it and you grab your new one that's just to show you the comparison that they are the same you got the new one stick it in there and then i use this uh, lubricant for brake parts and I put just a tiny bit around this so it slides in there easy and just a tiny bit around here so it fits in there um, so it's not catching really on anything and uh, then you just take this and put it back in and you're done alright guys so I wrapped up this side uh, put everything together started working on the other side immediately because it was the same exact thing and uh, just to save some time, I didn't record it. But I wanted to show you guys what it looked like when it was all said and done. Uh, I did scratch some of the paint off the caliper. That's why I wanted to, when I did the caliper painting video, I said uh, try to do it around the time that you're doing the uh, changing your brakes. That way you don't have to do what I did and I scratched them and I had to do a little touch up paint. But overall, it looks really good. The only bummer is that the uh, stock wheels, they cover so much that you won't be able to see this. Uh, until I get some aftermarket wheels, but this is what it looks like when it's done. 
looking really clean, looking really nice. Can't wait to put the DJM lower control arms. I got the uh, I got these uh, sway bar end links brand new with poly bushings. I've got a bump steer kit to go into the rack and pinion. This thing's gonna be stout once it's done. Um, but yeah, so I've done all the front brakes. One important thing, make sure you pump the brake pedal before you start driving it around. But now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rear. So it's pretty much gonna be the same thing. Uh, shouldn't take me too long, but I'm gonna go ahead and knock those out. I'll show you guys one side. I'll knock out the other side, and then uh, we'll go bed these brakes in. Alrighty guys, same thing just a little bit smaller. Your rear brakes are always smaller. They do a lot less of the braking. The main braking comes from the front. That's why the rotors and the pads are much bigger. But it's the exact same thing. Got the uh, little guides here. Got the rubber boots. Um, can't remember if I mentioned this or not already, but definitely get yourself a dollar of this brake part lubricant. Keeps everything from squealing. And uh, it's about $1.79 at AutoZone can't go wrong without it you just apply it to this side please do not apply it to this side apply it to this metal smooth surface what's going to make contact with the pistons on the rotor and then the back of the oh, excuse me the pistons on the brake pad and then it's going to make contact right here as well and then uh, put the new rotor on and we're good to go again make sure the slots are facing the right direction which they are got the right rotor for the right side so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tear this apart and uh, get it finished up so I can go bed these brakes in. Alrighty, look at that. The curtains match the drapes. Front matches the rear. Looking good, looking nice. Like that. So this is much easier because it only has one piston instead of the two pistons. So when you try to push, I don't have the caliper tool to compress the pistons. So I just use my handy dandy screwdriver. And uh, just with a little leverage, it goes right in. But when you have two pistons and you leverage one piston in, the other one comes out. And you gotta do this little dance until they come, until you can compress both little pistons. Uh, so with the rear just being one piston, 10 times easier. Super cake, took me about 20 minutes while I was on the phone. So, yep, got the front done, got the back done. Knock out the other side now. Bro, what kind of Texas creature is this? Oh, you heard me talking about it. All right, so I finished the brakes and uh, I was about to jump in the truck and I saw that thing from a Godzilla movie hanging out on my truck. And uh, I've been trying to fix my Spotify app because it just kept crashing. Can't be driving without no tunes. All right, hopefully that fixed it. So, anyways, let me skedaddle here. Here's again. All right. All right. Let me get set up here. Pump the brakes. There we go. Alrighty guys, I'm officially done with the brake job all the way around. That was extremely time consuming, um, but not too difficult. Like I said, I wish I would have done that all at once, painting the calipers, doing the brake swap. Um, that way I wasn't doing touch-ups and stuff like that. But anyways, now we're gonna bed the brakes. So when you get new brakes on, you wanna bed them in. And the way you do that is, you find yourself a nice road, which I got one, uh, where you can go like anywhere from like 55 to 60 miles an hour and then you're going to hit your brakes hard uh, not hard enough to cause the abs to go off um, but hard enough for you to definitely feel like you're stopping but you don't want to come to a complete stop and then you want to get rolling again because you don't want to keep the pads on the rotors and then that'll cause some of the new rotor pad to like gunk up and it'll cause like you'll feel a pulsation in your pad because of the height difference um, sometimes I used to work at a dealership and cars would come in complaining about uh, pulsation when they would apply the brakes and it was usually on newer cars we would do this but we'd go find a road and bet the brakes and we'd go you know 60 to you know 10 miles an hour and we would do it two or three times and the pulsation effect would go away and the customer was happy because it was an easy fix and before you jump in your car and start going 60 and slamming on the brakes like feel them out a little bit first you know 
especially when you change all four. You, you know, you touch a lot of stuff. Um, I double checked every bolt, make sure everything was torqued down. I used uh, blue Loctite. I used blue Loctite the last time uh, when I painted the calipers, and it was really hard to <laughs> break the bolts loose. Um, so blue Loctite, it's more than enough. Red Loctite, if you're just trying to piss somebody off. Make sure there's nobody behind you either so you're not slamming on the brakes and cause somebody to rear end you. The speed limit on this road is uh, 55. So I'm basically just gonna go 60 and get these brakes nice and hard a couple times before the road ends. Basically, all it is. They bite a lot harder. I mean, if you saw the beginning of the video, I was pretty much riding on like little slivers of pancakes or brakes. I can't, I don't know why I let myself do that for so long. Definitely happy I finally changed them out. I feel a lot safer. Alrighty, so I've been driving around for a little bit now. Um, the brakes feel like 10 times better. Um, I'm actually really pleased with this. I've never used uh, R1 Concepts brake rotors and pads. I've either always done like an OEM uh, spec pad or rotor from like a dealership or from AutoZone or O'Reilly's. Um, and the only other thing that I've used is uh, the PowerStop Track Day rotors and pads, uh, which create a lot of dust, but they work great on the Challenger. For an everyday pad, something like this. Now my other pads and rotors that I just took off were pretty shot, so even a fresh set of pads and rotors would have made a night and day difference on this. But these drilled and slotted uh, rotors and the pads, in incredible stopping power. I'm actually, I'm really happy with uh, the change I just made. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a street set of brakes and pads like this for the Challenger, uh, so I might make the switch on the car as well. Um, we'll see how these go. Uh, this is obviously like a, let's see, it's been a 40 minute test ride with the brakes and I've been uh, cruising up and down the highway or the access road. Uh, I bed the brakes in, make sure they were nice and hot. And um, and I've tested them out and they're freaking, they're freaking gold, man. So if you're thinking about getting the R1 rotors and pads, I mean, as of right now, I highly recommend them. But let me, uh, let me use them for a little bit longer, maybe a couple weeks or a month, and then I'll do another review or I'll just, you know, drop in a, an updated feeling of how I'm feeling about the uh, rotors and pads now. So, but as of right now, initially, uh, I'm, really, I'm extremely happy. Uh, shipping was quick. I got I got all the parts. I got all the new uh, hardware like you guys saw. Uh, new pads, new rotors. Uh, can't, what can you say? And I'm sorry I didn't film a lot of the wrenching because I have somewhere to be today and I was kind of in a rush, but I wanted to make a video. You know, you other guys who make videos, you know how it goes. Uh, I got somewhere to be up north in Austin and that's quite a bit of a drive so I wanted to make sure that I got these brakes in set up but I also wanted to make sure I got some content for you guys um, but I also wanted to make some content for you guys uh, give you an update on the Ram uh, I haven't really done a lot to the Ram here recently it's the holidays so I've been preoccupied with some other stuff the semester ended uh, getting Christmas gifts decorating you know how it goes guys Alright guys, as always, when I wrap up these videos, I come to the church and bless up these mods. So, there is the Ram. Now I came here because I wanted to talk about uh, some of the other stuff that I've done off camera. It's just a bunch of little stuff. Uh, so as you can, you guys remember I changed out the headlights, the black ones. I got these LED fog lights that are super bright and they have a black housing so they look real slick. I added this little RT badge because I thought it was neat. Uh, it gives a little bit of a different look. Really happy with that. You guys know I wrapped the hood on the truck. I took the Chrome Ram 1500 emblems off and I put the uh, matte black Ram 1500 letters. Got the side skirts put on. Of course, the new brakes. You can see those. Oh, look at that. Uh, new tail lights. Put little LEDs in here and a matching RT emblem in the back right there. So I know one thing I gotta get fixed want to point this out is that the previous owner had backed into something right here that's why that one 
uh, tail light with the Daytona surround was messed up, um, but also messed up the bed, so I gotta fix that. You can see a pretty bad gap right here as well. Oh, and then I got a completely new uh, rear bumper, and I got that painted up, so it's looking nice and sharp. So yeah, truck's coming along nice. Really can't complain. Figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a walk around. Yeah, and like I said, it's such a shame that these wheels cover all, you know, the new uh, drilled and solid rotors and the red calipers, but I mean, that's only temporary. Once I get some new wheels and tires, it'll be looking nice and neat. Let me get in here. Oh, and of course, you guys know, I did the gauges up. Still got to go ahead and plug in the oil temp and the water temp, and I got that all figured out. So not too worried. But yeah, uh, that's going to pretty much wrap up today's video. It was just pretty much a brake job and initial impression of the new brakes and a walk around of the truck. As you can see, the truck's coming along quickly and it's coming along nicely. Like I was looking back at pictures of when I first bought the truck and comparing it to the way it looks now. Gotta say, pretty happy. I'm doing a good job if I don't say so myself. But, oh man, I got something on my shirt. Anyways. Like I said, I apologize that I made the video not as in-depth as I normally do. Um, I was just kind of in a rush. Uh, you know, Saturdays usually I try to do either a YouTube video, I try to fix something on the cars, um, but you know, it's just time and we gotta be somewhere up north in Austin today. So I was trying to make the video as quick as possible and make sure I hit all the hot points, you know, the product, um, my initial impression on it and give you guys a walk around update on the truck so i hope you guys enjoy this video if you like these videos you know what to do hit that like button leave a comment below if you love these videos hit that subscribe button until next time guys peace out